on guys, Dave again here, JDH Reptiles. Hey, pulling time. It's been a bit, but I'm excited. I think this is clutch 34. I'm gonna look in my reptile scan really quick and I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. Yes, so this is clutch 34. So <clears throat> the pairing on this is a, the male is a visual, double visual, genetic stripe, VPI Exanthic. The female is a Firefly genetic stripe. She's also Pos Het for Exanthic and Pos Het for Hypo. So with this girl we paired that double visual male. That way not only will everything be genetic stripe, hopefully we get Fire genetic stripes, Pastel genetic stripes, Firefly genetic stripes, but we can hopefully prove her out to be Het for Exanthic also, and then make all those combos and an Exanthic G-Stripe. Super excited for this. She's a first time girl. Uh, we produced her. So, I don't know how big this clutch is gonna be, but I'm gonna lower the camera down. And we're gonna see what we got here. All right guys, so this is the girl. Nice and bright. Nice solid clutch. She was laying this earlier, like about an hour and a half ago. So all the eggs should be nice and just loose. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, looks like seven eggs. Seven eggs from a first time girl. I'm excited about that. All right, so we'll get her cleaned up here in a bit. Looks like seven eggs are coming out to 568 grams. So I'm gonna slide this over. Let me make sure this was zeroed out. Pretty sure it was. Yep, zero. And 568 grams. So we're gonna get some golf tees here. Let me turn the camera a little bit. There we go. Get our golf tees and we're going to get all these eggs separated and we're going to put them like so i'm just going to get these ones off the top actually these are the only ones i'm concerned about because i know that they won't fit in the egg box but after that i'll leave everything else together i'm actually going to leave these two together and i'm going to leave these ones together just like that we're gonna put one golf tee right there and that is it so again one two three four five six seven eggs awesome awesome clutch from a first time girl that's seven chances to prove out that she is het for VPI example now we have another uh, G stripe girl actually two more that are still we're waiting on them to lay uh, both of them have gone to a different male, which is a potential triple hat. So it is a 100% hat for VPI Exanthic, 100% hat for Genetic Stripe, and we need to prove whether or not he's hat for Hypo. So he's going to his mom, who is a 100% double hat Hypo G Stripe, and he's gonna go to his sister, who's basically the same as this girl, but just a pastel. So pastel, G-stripe, pass double head, exanthic, and hypo. So hopefully you prove all these girls out and prove that male out to be het for hypo. So I'm excited. G-stripe is a huge project that I like to work. And we got three G-stripe clutches in a row coming. So this one uh, today, that one's due any day. That's the sister of this. And then the mom to both of these is due any day. So super, super excited. Um, it's really funny because the pairing to produce this was a genetic stripe het VPI Exanthic male to a double het G stripe hypo. So that's why these girls are het for hypo, potentially het for hypo. They're visual G stripes, because we got the odds on that. And the male who's going to the other two is actually their brother. So a lot of, lot of things. The, 
the G-stripe exanthic male, that's from another female but the same dad. A lot of craziness there. <clears throat> but anyways, we're going to get this clutch in the incubator. 55 days from now is going to put us at, today's the third, so that's what, 27... like the 28th of October. So end of October, somewhere in that area, we're gonna cut this clutch, we're gonna see what our odds are, see if she proves out to be at least hat for exanthic, and if she, whether she is or not, next year she'll go to a hypo to prove out whether or not she's hypo. So super, super excited about this clutch. Can't wait to pull the other two. Uh, we still have like four or five let me see, I'm looking at my board over here. We got two, three, four, five. We have six females still breeding. So hopefully we have six more clutches that'll hit, put us in the 40s, uh, mid 40s. We're not gonna hit 50 this year, but that's okay. Uh, but that's gonna be it guys, we appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Make sure to check all the links down below. Check our Morph Market page, we got a bunch up on there, all ready to go to new homes. Until next time, take care, and we'll see you on the next video.